You're listening to Hudson County Scum Talk, and you all know what time it is. It's jail time! What time is it? Jail time! Jail time! What time is it? Jail time! Jail time! Jail time! Jail time! What time is it? Jail time! Jail time! What time is it? Jail time! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the second episode of Hudson County Scum Talk with the Hudson County Scumbags. And today is July 26, 2017. We'd like to thank everybody out there that listened to our first episode featuring Luke William of Mama Luke. You guys are great people. Thank you for uh, giving up a little bit of your time to listen to what we got to say. And we got to tell you, folks. We had a guest plan for our second episode here tonight. Johnny Riss was supposed to be with us this evening, but unfortunately, for unforeseen circumstances, Johnny Riss could not join us tonight. But, wait a minute. Oh my God, we got the Scum Chopper landing on the roof here. And we're here live at Scum Studios in Gothic, Kearney, New Jersey. We got D Scum D. Can you give us the scoop on why Johnny Riss couldn't make it here tonight? Wait, hey. This is D Scum, and I'm on the chopper, and uh, that motherfucker took a ride at 4.30, and he goes to LaGuardia if he's going to get back here by fucking 7. I don't think so. I'm out of here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was D Scum, and unfortunately, Johnny Riss could not make it. Jeez, we hope he might have gone to Newark, but unfortunately, he didn't go to Newark Airport. No. But... Like every other show, I am joined tonight with the man on my right, right here, ladies and gentlemen, my right hand man in the Hunter County Scumbags, Luke Bags. Luke, yeah. how are you? I'm great, man. Luke, how you doing? Luke, what's that? You look like you have a little something extra that you didn't I have do. last time. What, <laughs> is, what is that? That is the U.S. Championship. Let me tell you something, all right, about this championship. All right, it's not red, white, and blue. I like it silver and black. There all we right? go. That's my color scheme. I like dark and gloomy. All right, so. We're all former wrestlers. I'm a former wrestler. Yeah. Patrick Scum here is a former wrestler. Okay? We're entertainers. So, every now and again, at Pearl Studios, we like to goof off, we like to wrestle, we like to have fun. Okay? And we like to wrestle, and we like to put a match together. We like and to sell the knee. Exactly. I, I love to sell the fun. I love to sell uh, the Yes. Exactly. Seller. Yes. So, uh, we both love to sell, we both love to, like, wrestle around. So, in our last match, for Pearl Studios, the last, the last match at Pearl Studios. The last sure practice. The last practice, yeah, yes. right, right. So we had a little uh, wrestling match, and uh, I beat this guy over here. Well, I mean, you know, I, I, I first of all, I gotta say, what do you um, say? I won the number one contendership match. He did. The, the practice before. He, did. He, he, he beat me before. I did, and yeah. I got the shot. Uh, for the vacant U.S. that like I vacant, he's holding championships all over the world. What a champion, vacant! I think vacant has more titles than Ric Flair, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure, but um, you know, we competed for the vacant United States title, and unfortunately, Lucas Kamal Bags came up the victor in the matchup. Hold my hand up. Um, hold my hand up, D Dave. You got to do it, not me, man. I'm not doing it. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Wait, wait, wait. I have to wait, wait. I have to glow. I have to glow. There you go. There you go. And this isn't a fake Kmart title, ladies and gentlemen. All right. This this costs hundreds of dollars. Okay. And I'm proud to wear this on my shoulder today. That's right. We are the Hudson County Scumbags. We are multi hundred dollar heirs. For whatever the fuck you want to say, multi hundred heirs. That's yeah. what we are. I'm I'm the hundred dollar man. Uh, <laughs> as your scum. There you go. But, uh, you know, certainly we definitely had a lot of great memories at Pearl Studios. Uh, and, you know, it's it's a shame that Pearl Studios is going to be going. Uh, it's going to be torn down on August 1st, unfortunately. And because, because of uh, gentrification over there on uh, 21 Cook Street. Yeah. But we are going to come back with you and talk about that right after our following commercial break. Yes. So please stay tuned with Hudson County Scum Talk with the Hudson County Scum Man. We'll be right back. This is the American Guitar Man. You're listening to Hudson County Scum Talk with the Hudson County Scumbags. And we're back with Hudson County Scum Talks with the Hudson County Scumbags. 
and I am Patrick Scum joining you here tonight. And uh, right before we left for our commercial break, we were talking about uh, Pearl Studios over at 21 Cook Street. Uh, as we all know, Pearl Studios, unfortunately, will be closing on August 1st. Uh, it's actually closed now, but they're going to be demolishing it on October 1st. That's right. Uh, I'm sorry, August 1st. And uh, there's a lot of memories, unfortunately, that are going to be going down with that building. A lot of uh, great times that were had, a lot of creative energy that will That's be right. perishing and uh, perhaps going up into the atmosphere uh, for the ultimate warrior to absorb uh, somewhere in the great beyond, uh, beyond parts unknown. But um, I gotta t I gotta say that um, one of our members of the band uh, spent a lot of time over at Pearl Studios, and that member of the band is Luke Bags. Luke, I'd really like for you to share some memories of uh, Twenty One Cook Street here with us on Hudson County. Absolutely. Kansas, I mean, I was there for maybe um, about a year, maybe a little under a year. I was working there, but I was working with Joe Pearl, um, you know, the king of Pearl Studios. King of Swing. Yeah. But uh, I've been working with him for a long time, man. Before I got into Cook Street, um, I was working with him on Far Street at his other studios, this, that, and the third. I was helping him like build like vocal booths and stuff like that. And then I got my foot in the door. I worked at Cook Street for a bit, uh, a little under a year, like I said. But um, it was it was it was tremendous times. I mean, tremendous times. And now that it's what is today's date? Uh, today is the 26th of the July. The 26th. I'm sorry, the 27th. The, the, the 27th of the July. The 27th of Ju July. The 27th and of July. And we'd like to send a big happy birthday wish to John J. Castellano, uh, formerly hippie. of... AKA Hippie. AKA Hippie. AKA Hippie. Hippie. I love you, brother. Happy birthday to you. Happy brother. Along, oh, yeah, along happy with... Brother. Happy brother. Along happy with... Happy birthday, brother. The King of Kings, yeah. the game, <laughs> Triple H. Happy birthday, Sorry, Triple H. H. You, don't, you don't give a fuck because we're not billionaires, but whatever. Fuck, Happy birthday, Triple H. Fuck Triple H. H. You know, I'm not even. Shawn Michaels was better, but we're not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shawn was bad. Shawn was fucking bad. Fuck, fucking. Fuck them both. <laughs> That's not the podcast. That's not the podcast. Now, back to the podcast. Pro Studios, seven fifteen, July fifteenth, two thousand seventeen. Let me tell you something. That was a fucking showcase to remember because we had no other, no other. Than the Hudson County scumbags main eventing the show. Even though but, I opened listen, it. listen, I'm not done yet. Yes, we did. <laughs> the main event opened up the show. Okay, and I don't think um, anything. I don't think anything could have been better. Oh, Andre the Giant got slammed that fucking night. Like, you know what I mean? So there you go. There you go. That, that's the analogy right there. I gotta so, tell you, I, I equated that night in our performance. What? Uh, that night with uh, you know Roddy Piper winning the world title, or I Mr. Agree Wonderful that. winning you the world title, or or, uh, or or um, you know Ravishing Rick Rude finally getting the championship, or Mr. Perfect even. Oh, you know? man, man, man. Oh, yeah. It was the guy that should have been uh, a world champion, being a world champion. But anyways, that place was jumping from get go Perfect. to friggin' to the end. All right, like we had friggin' Hudson County scumbags, we had Malatori, we had Dark Matter. All right, Primitive Pat was supposed to play, but they, they ended up... It, it was a shame, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, they had an issue with uh, one of their Excuse bandmates, me. and they, they couldn't make it. Um, but, you know, I got to say, we look forward to playing a show in the future with Primitive Pat. Oh, Pack. absolutely. They're, they're you know, great. Steve a friend of mine, uh, Stefan. So, you know, it would be uh, it would be really great. And who knows, maybe even maybe even funeral dress. You never know. But never um, know. that'd be pretty fucking awesome. Exactly. But uh, that show was absolutely phenomenal. I mean, for the last show of Pearl, I couldn't ask for anything better, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah. uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I mean, like, it was it was yeah. that damn good. Yeah, we show. had over, like, 100 people there, all right? It was, and on top of that, <clears throat> we had Mark Bernardo's birthday, guys. Yeah, that's so right. So we celebrated the great Mark Bernardo. Bernardo. Mark Bernardo has been there for how many fucking yeah. years, guys? I mean, almost since, like... Wait a minute, day. wait a minute. Can we get a... Whoa. So happy, oh. happy late birthday to you, bro. I mean, uh, but it, it was excellent. He's been there since I, I believe day one, yeah. and he's been there with uh, with Joe Pro from uh, from day one on Cook Street, and that that that's been excellent. He's been there. Um, I mean, he, you know, I have nothing on him. I've been there for maybe just like a year, but he's he's been excellent, dude. Uh, Joe's been excellent. The whole fucking pro Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Hudson, <laughs> Johnny. Johnny. A random Johnny chant. The, 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 the legendary Johnny, and, and I gotta say, uh, <laughs> I remember some of my times going to Pearl, 
And when Johnny would kind of be uh, overseeing the operation, I remember Johnny told me a story about See, how... which Johnny are we talking about? I know well, we're, we're talking about, we're talking Johnny, about Johnny Lynch. Johnny Lynch, Johnny, Lynch. Lynch. Johnny Hudson, Johnny Lynch. Johnny. Shout out to Johnny Lynch. Yes. I fucking love you. You've been a fucking pro... Uh, listen, he he's, worked He's there. a fucking Hudson County he legend. Worked. Yes, he is. He's an OG. He's yeah. worked there for fucking, I don't know how long. So, yes, him, Joe Pro, Mark Bernardo... I mean, we grew up with you guys. You know, yeah. you guys are fucking awesome. You gave you gave us a, a musical haven for years, years. You know, so we 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 uh, definitely thank you guys. And this is uh, definitely a shoot. This is uh, straight up. This is uh, no yeah. no characters, no nothing. This is um, a, a definite thank you and a definite uh, appreciation for what he, what you, you you guys have done for for Pro Studios over the years. Um, you know, that night, it's interesting you mention that because uh, that night I had a chance to uh, talk to Joe and, um, you know, I told Joe, you know, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for, you know, keeping me out of trouble as a kid. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd go there get and, this all out of and get in my own kind of trouble there. But, I mean, I was having fun. I was making music. Yeah. I was having fun you with my that. friends. And I wasn't out on the street. I wasn't fucking putting myself at risk, potentially getting involved in some shit that I probably shouldn't even be fucking doing. I mean, we were all studio uh, studio rats, so I mean, yeah. that kind of saved us in a way, you know? Yeah. So, like, yeah. I, when we say thank you, that's kind of, like, where it comes from. I, I just think, you, you know, know, I mean, Joe, you know, I'm sure Joe appreciated, you know, those words uh, from a lot of people, and, I, and I'm sure right. I'm not the only one that feels that way. But, I mean, I just, I don't think, you know, the impact is really, like, necessarily, like, you know, taken seriously, but it's true. It's like... Joe really kept a lot of us out of fucking shitty situations, whether it would be yeah, at home, on the streets, uh, you know, potentially getting involved in some shit that we probably shouldn't even be getting into. Joe Pearl gave us a fucking haven for us to play, to scream, to yell, to get our aggression out, you know, and to do what we felt that we fucking loved. And, Absolutely. um, you know, I'm forever indebted to Joe Pearl for that, uh, and for providing us that great opportunity. So, Joe, you know, from the bottom of the Hudson County Scumbags, Black Hearts. Black Hearts, baby. We say thank you, and we say we love you, man, because you, got you helped us out, and you gave us somewhere yeah. to fucking be ourselves. And listen, just because it's a uh, an end of an era, that doesn't mean that, you know, a new era can't occur. Because let me tell you something, because uh, we're going we're gonna to visit uh, Joe's new studio. We're going to visit them, and we're going to start... We're going to creep by? Yeah, we're going to creep by. And, and creep you know what? We're going to start a new era. We're, and, you know, I think we're going to podcast from there. In with the yeah. middle. Yeah, we should. We, we actually, yes, somewhere. we should do that. We, we're gonna, You know what? I actually, speaking for all of us, we're going to promise that we're going to film a podcast at Joe Pearl's new studio on Forest Street. I don't know the exact address yet, but I will uh, get back to you on that. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I, you know, what a fucking come on. Well, Either way, you, you can check out right. the Pearl Studios page <laughs> on Facebook. You can give it a like. Exactly. Give and it a like. All, so all the new inspirations there for all you musicians out there that want to get a place to fucking jam and do your fucking thing. Pearl Studios is the place to do it. Absolutely. Um, but you know, with that being said. Um, you know, unfortunately, I wasn't really able to stick around for most of the show. He's a uh, father, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. I'm He's a father. a father. I'm a father. He's a decent human being. And yes, he is. I have to be in bed by a respectable hour so that I can wake up and tend to my children. Scumbag. Because that's the kind Scumbag of guy I am. By character. That's, that's the kind of guy <laughs> I am. Um, but my two colleagues here had a chance to stick it around for the remainder of the show. They had a chance to see yes. all the acts that played that night. Yes. So uh, I actually went live that night. You did. did. Yes, yeah, well, you, you did. When you, you left, left I actually, on Facebook. Yes, I went live that night. Um, yeah. uh, Malatori was the one that ended the show. Now, uh, shout out to Caesar. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, shout I, out to Caesar. I, I, I fucking love Caesar. He's been my closest friend. He came from Bad Groove, which uh, Bad Groove, Bad Groove, baby. Um, they disbanded, whatever the case may be. He started a new band called Malatori. He's he's a, he's a guitar player, singer. He's fucking awesome. What's his last name? Uh, Caesar Oliveira. 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 Yeah. Oliveira. Caesar Olivera. I didn't want to say it wrong, so I had to. Try yeah, to I mean that. You know, but definitely uh, the the, a, he, the little bit I've, that I've had, you know, interactions with yes. him. He's he's definitely a really cool dude. Excellent, um, excellent character. Uh, been a close friend of mine for years. Um, and all the bands. Um, I, I, I it, it was a pleasure to play with all the bands. Um, now, as you know, maybe you don't know, but BD Scum over here used to play for Dark Matter. Now I. They've been around forever, just like the scumbags. 
big fan of them. Industrial metal, this, that, and the third. Great, okay? Um, we got him to play bass, um, and that's that's a blessing in disguise for us. I really, I really dig that. Uh, Dark Matter did their thing. They were a three-piece now. Dark Matter's lineup always changes. Uh, you know, give them a look. Uh, you know, give them a, give them a like, give, give them a subscribe, check them out. They're a great band. Uh, they're a three-piece now, whether, you know... I mean, I gotta say, man, like, you know, um, I, I know Vic personally. You know, so he's, he's, yes. he's, he's a decent He's a decent human guy. Being. Yeah, he's, he's a good guy. He's Shout a, out to Vic if you're listening. He's a decent human being. Right. Um, but, you know, much like we are decent human beings. Of um, course. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, um, yeah, man, I mean, you know, I, I, I gotta say, like, there's very few bands that musically I was really into, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna bullshit, I'm not gonna fucking sit here and play grab ass, but... Well, why don't you tell me the truth, Mr. Patrick? Go. Well, I mean, you know, if there was one band, you know, that I probably might not play with, it'd probably be Dark Matter, but that's just me saying Well, tell me, that, tell you know. me, tell me your reasons for that, tell me why. Technical difficulties? No, no, um, just, tell, just tell me why you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to do that. Now, I mean, listen, now before you answer, ladies and gentlemen... We're not trying to put anybody down. That's not our thing. We're not no, trying to fucking no, shit no. on anybody. This is just honest. This is shoot. Raw, this it's is a shoot. shoot. It's a shoot. Honest shoot. raw emotions. Shoot. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's indifferent, whatever. Well, I mean, back um, to your thing. I mean, I don't, I don't know how he uh, or they necessarily feel about our music, but um, you know, all I gotta say is, you know, if 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 you don't want to fucking play shows with bands that challenge you or play shows with bands that make you better musicians then what the fuck are you doing? But, you know, that's just me. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much what I gotta say about that. Uh, as Forrest Gump would so eloquently say. <laughs> and much like Forrest Gump, I could run out of my braces. And much like Forrest Gump, um, I hung out with a man named Bubba in a monsoon. And much like Forrest Gump, you found your Jenny. No, I didn't. Because, oh, I because Jenny was a whore who had AIDS. Oh, 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 oh. Jenny was a whore who <laughs> had AIDS. I have, I have, I have, I have, I have AIDS. And not that there's anything wrong with having AIDS. You know, for, for those of you politically correct people out there. Listen. You know, I, listen, I feel for those of you. I don't give a fuck about you politically correct people. But right? let's just talk about the movie. Forrest, you know, Jenny was a fucking hoe, and she was two-time enforced, and she played him because he was a retard, and whatever. She was a hua. I have a, a woman hua. who's a loyal woman. Can I get a hua? Oh, oh, hua. Thank you. So, so yeah. on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a commercial break, but when we come back, I want to discuss Bug Lever. Oh, you don't know, you, you don't know who Bug Lever is. Well, that was a band that this gentleman was in D.D. Scott. This was his former Back band. Back in 1993? What was it, D.D.? 94! 94! You were seven Woo! years old at the This time. is when the OJ oh, shit was oh, going on, baby. Oh, yeah. That was when the OJ shit. So, Juice. <laughs> so stick around. When we come back, we're going to play a song come, uh, from Bug Lover called Pensive. And believe me, that shit's going to be awesome. Stay tuned. Uh... This is Geraldo Rivera, and you're listening to Hudson County Scum Talk with the Hudson County Scumbags. Let's make America scum again. And we are back with Hudson County Scum Talk with the Hudson County Scumbags, and I'm Patrick Scum, joined here by D. Scum and Luke Bags. How you doing? And right before we left for our commercial break, we started talking about a band called Bug Lover, which uh, our very own D. Scum was a member of. And particularly a track that I heard today called Pensive. And I gotta tell you, uh, I really dug it. I mean, uh, Luke awesome. obviously had recommended it to me. Yes, um, I did. And Luke had pretty much told me to check it out. And when I checked it out, I, I really fucking dug it. And I love um, this track. I really do. I, I, I definitely uh, wanted to present it to you, the viewers and listeners of Hudson County Scum Talk here tonight. So I'm gonna switch it over to D Scum D. What do you gotta tell us about Bug Lover and particularly Pensive? Well, you gotta tell me about that track, man, because that's my favorite right. track out of everything, and I, I I love it to death. And explain, man. I mean, I will. Well, well, Bug Lover was a. It was, I mean, at first it off, it started off. It as, sounded like you said Butt Lover. Nah, yeah. <laughs> no, Butt Lover. Butt Lover. B -U -G, butt Lover. Baby. I do like. I'm a Butt Lover. I like women, but like, you know, I'm hey. on the point. Um, hey, yeah, hey, I mean, it, start, it started off as a uh, band was called Nymph. You know, um, and we uh, I wrote a bunch of tracks back in '93, when uh, when I was uh, I think a, a junior in high school, 
in English class because okay. I never paid attention. So I was writing, you know, I was writing songs. I'm not even know music. Just writing lyrics. Okay. And then I saw the word. I saw the word pensive. Oh, that's a fucking cool name. We use that as a title. And Inspiration. Then, exactly. I feel you. And then the whole fucking uh, the whole OJ thing was fucking happening. And I was, and I was like, <laughs> stupid me in high school. The whole OJ thing was happening. Oh, hey, that was just saying. I really enjoyed how yeah. these, these first two episodes yeah. have a lot of OJ. You know, we have a lot of OJ going on in the first two episodes. Yeah, that's that's actually like... And what you, you know, know what? You know what? Shout out to one of my friends who's one of the biggest OJ Simpson fans yeah. I know. Tell Michael me. Minervini. Michael Minervini, I know you're going to be listening to this because I'm going to tell you the fucking Double list. M. And yeah. double. The, M the double. insane Mike Jekyll, who, who we scrapped it in there in the professional wrestling ranks. But anyways, D... Let's get back into Bug Lover and Pensive. All right, well, I fucking... How'd you I, come I, up with that, buddy? I just sat there and I was like, you know what? Why doesn't somebody write a fucking third-person point of view of the fucking O.J. Simpson fucking, you know, murder? That's an excellent that's concept. That's a idea. I was basically, that's you know... That's I was... Uh, basically, the song is is, uh, is from Kato... Uh, what is his name? Kato? Kato Kato. Yeah, Kato. Right, 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 it's right, right, from Kato right, right. Kato's point of view. You know, because Kato Kato saw everything, you know, so yeah. that was from his point of view. And if you know you hear the song, you basically know who killed the fucking, uh, you know, who killed the two people. Who you was know? it? Ah, O.J. Simpson, of course. Hey, O.J. The, did. The, ju the juice got closed that night. Yeah, he but, just comes as O.J. did. Yeah, but he was acquitted. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, but, you know. <laughs> if it doesn't fit, you must Oh, fit. yeah, they were rap stars. <laughs> <laughs> I say I still think his son did it. His oldest son. Did well, you know what they yeah, said. They, yeah, they, they yeah. said he had a, and he took the rock for his kid because what parent would have fallen the sword for their own kid? No, but they did. That's, that's true, though. That's true. They said he had like one of those big Akita dogs. Mm -hmm. That those dogs would only attack somebody they did not know, right? Mm -hmm. So you true. maybe think maybe OJ sick the dog on uh, the dude when he saw him, you know, trying to cuddle up with his wife, and okay. then just took care of her after that. That's a valid thing. And Kato's watching it all for the blind. That is valid. It's, it's worth I, 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 do, I do like his uh, it's worth version of that. Um, because if OJ didn't do it, I mean, the, the, the next the, the next. But you know who knows him. You know who knows. Now he's yeah. Alex. Oh, of so course. Yeah, of course. He, he hasn't said a word, and he hasn't been around. And so did Bobby. Bobby Kardashian knew. Yeah, did you oh. see? Listen, Bobby had did his, you his see reaction. Did you see his reaction when uh, the verdict was for, uh, for OJ in 94? When, yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah. He couldn't fucking believe it, bro. Like, he was fucking Dude, done. everybody thought he, he was done. Everybody thought he was done. Did they, you know, the only thing is, they didn't want to raise Ryan. No, nah, Mark, Mark, Mark Furman's the one who fucking did it, though. Mark Furman fucked everything up for them. Because Mark Furman, being the fucking racist that he was, really made everybody question everything. That, Johnny Cochran's fucking smooth talking. Oh, the rap Marcia stuff. Clark fucking fucking up, you know, yeah. and, and kind of like being a little inconsistent. You know, Chris yeah. Darden... You know, with his own conflicts. I mean, the prosecution had their own shit fucking going on. But the evidence, man, the evidence, in a sense, was really irrefutable, man. It was. And, um, I mean, I, I think we'll never really know. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people still think that OJ did it. I still think his son did it, and I still think that OJ no, you're right, though. did I, what he had to do to, yeah. to, to cover his son's fucking trials. Right. If it wasn't him, you know. it, was, it, it was definitely Well, because look, I, I agree look at that. it like this. I mean, his kid is watching his father get played by this woman, yeah. and that woman, you know, Nicole Brown, Nicole Brown, Nicole Brown Simpson, everybody likes to act like Nicole Brown no, Simpson was, was a fucking man. angel. She was a drug addict, and she broke up OJ's marriage. She was a fucking home wrecker, you know what I'm saying? She fucked up OJ's she fucking the marriage. Juice loose and, all over and, her. and the juice is raw. Oh, oh, that was fucking dirty. Yeah. But, but, but the, juice, <laughs> the juice was wrong. He really truly was. But Nicole is no fucking saint either. No, oh, no, listen, 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 she still didn't deserve listen, to die. Guys, She's Nicole, no James, listen, right? I don't give a fuck if you guys like it or not. Nicole was a hua. Uh, hua. Whoa. Can I get a hua? She was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. She 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 got around. She was a, she was with every fucking Tom, Dick, and Harry. And I'm sorry. We're not we, you know we're not trying to get fucking political on this, that, and the other. But it's relevant in the news today. Okay. So if OJ's in the news, we're gonna fucking microscope him for everything he fucking did, and that's how it is. OJ's my father. Hey. 
I would love that. You know? <laughs> I wish I had the jeans of OJ. Where's that? The $24,000 getting a from the NFL. You know, but listen, let me, <laughs> but let, let me tell you something. Get off the fucking OJ something. All right? The Hudson County Scumbag Sea Day. All right? If you can see it right here. This has been around for fucking years. Okay? We have saws. Let me open it up for you. You see D? See D? Let me let me let me let me let me open it up for you. You see okay. D right here. You see D. Oh, see these nuts. Hello. So with this CD right here, we have out right now. Okay, this is from fucking 2012 Productions. Okay, and we have a Colt 45 Magnum drum. We have Emo Fag Destruction Holocaust. And I don't give a flying fuck if you're offended by that. We're not politically correct, so you can either embrace that or fuck off. Honestly. Straight up. That, uh, next, we got Feasting on Human Flesh. Number four, we got Black Santa. Black Santa. All right? Think about fucking Lionel Rich. Ho, 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 motherfuckers! There you go. If you got a problem with that, fuck off, too. Number five, we got The Police versus Teenage Zombie Sluts from America. So, with those five songs, they, they, they've been around since 2012. All right, we are going to record new material. We have new material that hasn't been seen or heard of if you haven't been to a live show. So if you haven't been to a live show, you're pretty much shit out of fucking luck until the end of uh, next year, okay? Well, not next year, I'm sorry, I'm exaggerating. The end of this year, early next year. So there you go. This over here, is, this guy's over here doing fucking, uh, you know, <laughs> fucking Doctor, Doctor Strange fucking noises over here. But anyways, you got this, and you're gonna have new material come later this year. So come next year, you're gonna get new material, new new performances, new gigs, everything good, man. So uh, and another thing is, you don't know what lineup you're gonna get either. I mean, listen. The three of us, you got. That's that's solid. You got Patrick Scum on vocals. You have Luke the Scum Bags on guitar. And you have Dee Dee Scum on bass. Now, the drummer will always fluctuate. Now, you don't know if it's going to be Dr. Scum. You don't know if it's going to be fucking Buddy Tooth Cop and Jerry. You don't know if it's going to be the fucking uh, invisible fucking man, bro. You don't know yet. You don't fucking know yet, so the your mother. The ex, you know, you never know. So the scum family, the scum tree is very fucking big. So we're definitely excited to give you uh, a lot of surprises come in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we obviously have a lot of things that we're working on. Um, we have a lot of uh, shows that we actually do have lined up. Well, too, in the immediate future. Uh, we're going to be at the Oddities Festival on August 12th down at the Brighton Bar in Long Branch, New Jersey. Uh, be sure yeah, to tell come on out and that. check tell us out. Tell them about well, the gigs that are coming up. Tell, tell them about the gigs that are coming It's up. basically um, a tell circus fest, you know. Um, it's going to be, you know, basically kind of just like different circus performers in between uh, bands performing outside and inside the Brighton Bar. In Long Excellent. Beach, New Jersey. Um, so you know, or Long Branch? Is it Long Branch or Long Beach? Long, Long Branch. Long Branch. Long Branch. Long Branch. It's Long Branch, Branch New right, Jersey. Right, right. Yeah. I yeah. fucked up. Whatever. Who cares? But um, <laughs> yeah, um, you know that's going to be one of the shows we got lined up, and uh, you know it's definitely going to be a hell of a fucking show for us on August 12th. So please come on out and check us out if you're down the shore that weekend. Uh, we promise we will put on a hell of a fucking show for you, and you won't forget the Hudson County scumbags. Plus, we also have uh, lined up another show on September 26th, or September September 16th, excuse me. September 16th, September yes. 16th at Dingbats out in Cliff. I love the Dingbats. One, one of our favorite venues. One of our favorite venues. Excellent to play. I think the last time the Scumbags played out there was back in 2009. Oh, uh, my God. We played yeah, with 2009, yeah. Spy the Thinker. We played with the... <laughs> The you Tom remember Hartley. who the fuck we played? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 the Tom Hartley Collective. Um, you know, they were definitely, uh, you know, really cool guys as yeah. well as Spy the Thinker. Okay. Um, so, you know, that was a really, really fun show to play. And that'll be our first time playing back at Dingbats since 2009. So, September 16th, 
Come on out and check us out out at Dingbats. It's a big punk show that day. Oh, uh, nice. And you're going to yeah. have a ton of fun. And again, the Scumbags will deliver. Master Scum will be as there always. on September 16th as well as August 12th. So we got a lot of things lined up uh, in the immediate future. You master Scum. Um, you know, we're, we're going to have, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Of money combined. He's the best one. Clearly, he's whipped me into shape. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, um, which, by the way, I gotta say, I'm working on this fucking sweet dad bod. I got a sweet, sweet dad oh, bod. Oh, baby, that's, that's this sexy. Is, that's this fucking is, sexy. This is, this, is, this is a sexy fucking dad bod oh, that I'm baby. working on here. Um, Shit, balls of fire. So, yeah, um, we obviously have these shows lined up. Um, you know, come on out and check us out on August 12th. As well on September 16th, August 13th, Dr. Scum on Drum's birthday. That's right, we're going to be celebrating hey. Dr. Scum. And, and, very special day for professional wrestling fans out there. That's right, Kenny Omega and Kazuchika Okada, the Rainmaker, are going to be facing off in the G1 Climax on August 13th. So please, tune in for that one. Can I get a true sweet? Two sweet! Yeah, we're great. Big professor wrestling fans, New Japan, Kenny Omega, the Big E, Marty Skrull, yes, the Young Bucks, Hangman Adam Page. It's today. Today is Hangman Adam Page's birthday. And by the way, Get the fuck I out wish of I wish the Hangman happy birthday on Twitter today. Hangman. Happy birthday, man! Hangman. And and Hangman showed me some fucking love for that one. So happy birthday, birthday Hangman birthday. Adam Page. Hell of an underrated talent. But uh, with that being said. Um, we got to get back to the Pearl Showcase. We got to talk about our experience at that final Pearl Showcase. Yeah, because uh, that was actually a show that was um, that came out of nowhere. We're like, yeah. listen, you know what? This is the no, 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 no. It didn't no, fucking no, no. come out of nowhere. Mama Lou couldn't fucking play it, so the scumbags came back. Let's be fucking real. All right, so let's, that's it. That's what fucking happened. happened. All right, so you know what? Mama Lou couldn't play. The scumbags were, what, what do you want me to fucking say? The second fucking, like, you know, on no, deck no. band? No, no. No, they weren't the on deck fucking band. It was like, listen, one band couldn't play, the other one could play. Simple as that. One band ain't fucking better than the other, okay? So one band couldn't play, the other one could. could. So, and we, you know, we ripped it, man. We had a fucking fun. And, and, and yeah, um, absolutely. That was the first show, absolutely. like we said in the first uh, podcast, that. That was the first show in I don't know how many fucking years. Um, five. Five years. Five? Five years. Ten, so, eight. um... Four. No, 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 four. I think it was 2013. Whatever the fuck it was. We were going to be precise. But yeah, four or five remember. years. Whatever the fuck it was. But, um, we came back with a new lineup. Uh, well, not really a new lineup, but like, you know, the, you know, the Loyal Three, which is me, Pat, and, uh, Dr. Scum. And, uh, we got, um, D.B. Scum on base. That's actually, you know, he's he's actually, the, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this in the first podcast, but he's actually the gem, the fucking gem of the scumbags because he keeps everything going. When, you know what I mean? He keeps everything fucking relevant, everything pumping, everything in your face. Everything you see about the scumbags online, everything you see about whatever this, that, and third, he's got something to do. He's the one, he's, he's the one behind it. Fucking DD scum, feel the bang. Alright, so, and that's all I got to say about that. What else do you got to say, guys? Um, you know, we definitely appreciate uh, DD Scum's influence in the band. Um, you know, and, and I really just have to say it's just great to be able to play again. It's great to be able to boil some piss again. Yeah. It's great to be able to make other bands uncomfortable <clears throat> again. And I got to say, man, I want to issue an open warning to all bands out there. If you feel like you can outperform us if you feel like you can play a better set than us bring it motherfuckers feeling because riffy you feel riffy we're exactly. waiting we're waiting and we want somebody to challenge us like that because at the end of the day the people that benefit the most are the people that are paying to see the show it's the people that come out and it's the people that decide you know what i'm not gonna fucking stay in on saturday night and i'm not gonna just Fuck my girlfriend and Netflix and chill, or I'm not gonna see every night. And most of you, and most of you, are not gonna stay at home and just smoke weed and jerk off. You know, we want people that are gonna come out and you know have a good time. So, if you're a band out there that feels like you can put on a good show, feeling riffy, and you can play with us, then please, by all means, come and play with us. We don't bite. 
but we will make we you raise do. your fucking level. And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that's what we want to do. Um, so, you know, with that being said, um, I got to say, you know, just come on out, play a fucking show with us, see what we're all about, and show us what you're all about. And at the same time, let me tell you something. Any bands out there that want to play with us, you know where to find us. Book us. Because let me tell you something. At the last Pearl show, we put a lot of bands on. So you know what? It's time to return the favor. All right? Mother's on. And there you go. That's all I got to say about that. Yeah. You know, far as come, Absolutely. And, and, and even bands that want to come and play with us, you know, hit us up, man. We'll fucking put a show together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to fucking headline. We don't have to fucking do anything. We just want to fucking play. We want to get out there and we want people to hear our music. And we want people to feel the Hudson County Scumbags atmosphere and our experience. Because that's what we fucking bring. We create an atmosphere and we are an experience for people to be fucking having. So that's absolutely right. You know, like I said, if anybody's feeling fucking froggy, leap motherfuckers. Feeling exactly. waiting. <laughs> waiting. Motherfucker. We're waiting. Try. Try um, out of performance. But you know what? I don't know, just ask if you know what. <laughs> Anyways, enough with the fucking shoot stuff, enough with the bullshit. Um, enough with the fucking antics, okay? We were supposed to have Johnny Rips on today's show. We didn't get him on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What am I hold holding on to? My dick? Hold on a second. What's that? My name's not Bro. It's Mr. Violence. It's Mr. Violence. Can I give you a fucking too sweet? There you go. Mr. Fucking Violence was born right in front of your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know who the fuck Mr. Violence is, but he was born right fucking here. That was born right fucking here. All right. That was a reference. Is your little you know what I'm talking about? Anyways, yeah, I know what the fuck you were talking about, all right? But the viewers may not know what the fuck you're talking about, so I'm trying to sell it to the viewers. Buy it, bitch. All right, because maybe our viewers aren't from the 1970s and 80s and no, fucking whatever. No, they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna pay for anything. They're no, they're not. Fucking they're not. They are fucking broke ass, fucking, fucking losers, scumbags. Listen, we call us scumbags because that reflects society. There you go. We're broke too, so it's all right. Anyways, um, and that's with the fucking jibba jabba. Um, what we're going to talk about to close out our show is obviously the July 15th uh, Pearl Showcase. And I got to say, man, you know, it was just totally fucking awesome being able to share the stage with you guys again, uh, being able to get out there and just being able to let out the frustration, let out everything that's inside of me. I mean, obviously, there's a lot going on in the world, uh, you know, politically, socially, in a lot of regards. Um, and I just don't want to necessarily focus on that, but it does fuel me. It does give me the necessary energy that I need to be able yeah. to take the stage it's and do exactly what it is that I do. Yeah. Um, and, you know, again, we might not be everybody's fucking cup of tea, but we don't give a flying fuck. At I the end of the fuck. day, do we're going to show up, we're going to do what we're going to do, and we're going to entertain no. you motherfuckers, and we're going to have a fucking blast at doing it. Um, so... With that being said, uh, we, we had a lot of fucking cool songs. We did introductions that night. We did our own separate entities, oh, yeah. which we've yeah. never, ever, That's ever awesome. done before, which was totally <laughs> fucking cool. Um, and, you know, I got to give credit where credit's due. You know, me and Street Tough Murph Gunderson, we had always talked about doing yeah, fucking entrances. Exactly. Um, Shout out to you, Chris. That's right. Too. Shout out to you, Chris. Nobody hates you, motherfucker. But I yes, love you. But uh, he's drunk. I'm not. I'm not. Dr listen, listen. I'm not fucking drunk. I'm. A, I'm heavily buzzed. This is water. Fuck you, you He's water. Drinking full of water. Water. Full of shit. I'm not gonna you tell you what water. I'm gonna tell you what I'm fucking drinking, but I'm drinking it. So I'm not drinking you nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I, I'm drinking something. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna drink. All right. Oh, right. this this right. this nothing right. has me so wasted. <laughs> but uh, you know, it was totally cool to be able to do the entrances. It was, it was awesome, and you know, shout out to Josh Wells of the Pizza Pop Podcast. Uh, you know, you gave us a great oh, introduction. Oh, Josh! Josh! Um, you know, it was such a great fucking introduction. I, I heard that somebody had tried to coax him into doing some sort of introduction for them later on, but Josh adamantly denied because. He knows what's cool, and he knows that we're fucking cool, so yeah. that's that. He's the host of Pizza and Pop. He knows what's pizza Absolutely. and Pop. And by the way, hey. he provides... Wait a minute. Is that pizza over there? Oh, bring... Can bring, I have some pizza? Bring oh, pizza let's bring pizza. Let's bring You know what? We can have hey. some pizza, but let's have some pizza on the show. We got pizza oh, on go. the show, ladies and gentlemen. 
This is this came this came straight from the Pizza and Pop podcast. Yeah, oh my God! This is it? this is oh, God. Holy this is shit! Josh Wells. Oh, Josh, thank you for the no, pizza. Hey, yeah, Josh is here, man. Yeah, man. Not that there's anything else. Nothing wrong. Else here, man. Nothing wrong they might live longer. <laughs> Anyways, um, so who are we gonna have on uh, next week, guys? Tell me. Uh, next week. Our guest is none other than Darren Deicide. Yeah. He's a Darren Deicide. What is he, a DJ? He's a blues guitar player. Uh, oh. Actually, I had the chance to talk with Darren, uh, and I believe he dances with a, uh, a lady by the name of Ethel, so it's Darren and Ethel. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I could be fucking wrong, but okay. Darren was a super cool fucking guy. Um, he's from Chicago originally. I had a chance to chat with him outside, and we, we had some really cool conversations, so... It's going to be really fun to have uh, Darren on our following show on our third episode, and we really look forward to uh, talking to Darren and getting to know a little bit more about him. And please help me do something about this grease. Um, we got some napkins for uh, Mr. Patrick's company. So Darren's going to be fucking awesome. You know, he's going to be a great fucking guy. <laughs> and, and I hope he shows up. And what is the date for that show? Do well. Um, well, we record it uh, next week. Okay. So the fo- so it's... Uh, August 10th. August 10th, ladies and gentlemen. August 10th, he'll be on. Okay, good. So yeah. next week we'll be recording. Next, next week, week we'll be recording. Live. Yeah, his, his, live, his live interview will be August 10th. Great. Wait, so, so it'll still be July then or no? It's not going to be July. It's going to be fucking August, right? Yeah. It'll be August, yeah. Well, oh my God. So you know what? I just want to say something. If it's going to be recorded on August 10th, August 6th, Hudson River Darby. Come on, you boys in blue. New York is fucking blue. NYCFC, baby. That's my fucking team. Fuck the Red Bulls. Fuck oh, the Red Bulls. Bulls. Fuck Red Bulls. Even though this guy, he works at Red Bull Arena. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> pay the bills. The bulls. The bills. Hey, the, hey, the Red Bulls pay the bills. Whatever. But anyways, <laughs> uh, Darren's going to be a great fucking guest. <laughs> yeah. So to close out our show, guys, we're going to have um, one of our tracks from that night, from that Final showcase of Pro Studios on July 15th, 2016. Tell me you want it. I know you want it. And I gotta say, man, uh, that was a really, really, really fun show. And uh, I really took in the atmosphere, I think, just like everybody else did, you know, and, and really took a look at, at everything because that building was one of a kind, man. That was just so yeah. fucking cool. It just reeked the music. I know Luke enjoyed some great fucking times oh, in there. Oh, absolutely. Um, I raped that place. And <laughs> <laughs> I raped that fucking place, bro. All right, I think we all had a great time in there. Yeah, you know we, we, but, uh, but Luke more specifically because you know he was he was working with Joe at the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, Perks. Free but it's it's a shame, man. It's a shame that that place is gone. Um, it's a shame, unfortunately, that you know a lot of uh, this counterculture is kind of being isolated to you know uh, questionable neighborhoods. But you know what, man? We're gonna fucking endure. We're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Absolutely. We're gonna have some fun, and I can't wait to broadcast. From Pearl Studios in the future down at Forest Street. We really look forward to it. We're going to have a Hudson County yes. Scott Talk down there. So that's going to be awesome. Um, so to close out our show, we are going to be playing a Hudson County Scumbags track. How mm-hmm. fucking well, 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 What track is that going to be, Patrick? Tell oh, us. the name of the track. Me, 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 me. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, there we go. Well, it's known yeah. by several <laughs> aliases. One of them is. Woo. Lest we forget the homeless, a.k.a. Don't forget, don't forget about the bumps. Don't forget, don't forget about the bumps. When you're out there and you Please. see a homeless person give him a dollar. Give, give, give him a dollar. dollar. Give him an egg roll. Uh, give him something. Uh, Help the guy out. Because at the end of the day, they can use it a little bit more than you can. Especially if you're going to a cozy place with air conditioner and a nice bed. So with that being said, uh, we're going to close out the show with Don't Forget About the Bumps by the Hudson County Scumbags. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Patrick Scum signing off with you here tonight for episode two of Hudson County Scum Talk with the Hudson County Scumbags, and this is Luke Bags. Which, by the way, hold on a second before we go. I noticed we're all scum, and you're a bag. Yes, I am. Did I, you I, get I, that? I never paid attention to that. Oh, you guys never got it. Hey, it went over my head. Everybody's scum. Patrick I was just scum, like, scum, DD scum. I'm fucking Luke. Bags, loop the scum bags. Because you know what, everybody's scum. I'm gonna be the bag, scum bag. Get it? Gotta <laughs> yeah, put the scum somewhere. There you go. You gotta put the bags on. It there. never fucking occurred to me up until about a week ago. There but anyways, go. there you go, baby. Um, 
With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to close out our show. This is Luke Bags. This is DB Scum. And I am Patrick Scum. And we're signing off here for episode two of Hudson County Scum Talk with the Hudson County Scumbags. And we'll be seeing you next for week, episode baby. three. And just remember, all you bands out there, bring it, mother bitches. We're waiting. Wow. Peace out, motherfuckers. I'll see you next week. Hasta la vista, baby. Yo. I see your mustache criticizing me. I see your mustache criticizing me. I can tell by looking at your mustache and it's fucking judging me. No, no, it's judging me. It's judging me. Your mustache is judging me. Oh, I can make you fully aroused. Believe that. Believe that.